Make it make sense. That was another one of those picks where I'm looking at who's on the board and I'm just like, huh? Yo, 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 yo. What is up? What is up? What is up, everybody? If you are new to the channel, this is the road to 2K subs. I have, let, let me check. Let me check real quick. Um, I have one, two, three, four. I have I have at least four more reactions uh, that I haven't done that I haven't uploaded yet on uh, WNBA draft prospects. I recorded them the night before the draft, so yeah, so yeah, I have that coming up for everyone this weekend or within the next week. Whenever I get to record all of those things, I'm about to start screen recording right now and uh, re recording right now. Okay, cool, cool, cool. So yeah, man. Uh, draft was last night. I was gonna uh, record and upload last night, but I don't know, man. Like the 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 deeper we got into it, the closer it was gonna go from just a reaction and a general kind of like analysis, like a kind of you know overview and stuff, to a rant. Because a lot of this stuff made me mad. So you know, the later it got, the more I was just like, all right, maybe I just need to kind of rest on it a little bit more. Get a little more time in, but before I just go out here and just go on a rant. So uh, we're going to try to keep this as calm as possible. We got uh, the wings first. Uh, I believe the wings, they, uh, you know, a lot of people saying they're the winners. Uh, you know, they, they had three uh, good first round picks, but I thought the, you know, Dungey, I forgot who they took in the second round with the guard, but I was like, I like that guard better. They took Dana Evans. Wow. wow. Dallas hands down won the draft. Dallas hands down run the draft. Let, let me at least go see the Dallas roster. Let's see if I could see this roster real quick. See what they already have on the team. I know they have Ty Harris at, at guard. Oh, yeah, I forgot. Uh, Alicia Gray as well. Um, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So so they have some um, competition over there in the backcourt at least. You got Arike at the two. Um, whoever the heck wants to start at the one. Uh, you know, because you, you got uh, Alicia, you also have Ty Harris, and then, you know, Dungey and, and Dana Evans. Oh, man, we going to have a, hey, hey we're we, we going to have something over there. And then you got Bella uh, at center in the front court to go with uh, Satu. And, of course, you got two number one picks because <laughs> I'm going to count uh, Kua as, uh, as number one as well. Oh, that that was a that was another thing. All right, all right. So I'm gonna try to keep it calm. I'm gonna try to keep it calm. A <laughs> lot, uh, you know, uh, you know, as a, as a 19 year old going into the league because she was an international uh, professional. And Paige Beckers is 19 years old. And Paige Beckers is a 19 year old American who's going through the amateur system. She can't go to the league. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. They're both 19. They're both 19. And believe me, I would love to see AZ and Paige on the same court as much as anybody. But make it make sense, man. Make it make sense, dude. Uh, but yeah, so uh, they it got two number one picks at the center position to choose from. And you also have Bella and, um, and Isabel Harrison returning as well. I think it's just going to be very interesting to see what they do over there in that front court. Dallas, uh, they needed a lot of work, and they traded away some work. They traded away some players and stuff like that. So uh, if anybody was going to take in this many talented rookies, it was going to be them. But all four of these players are studs, bro. All four of them, man. All right, anyways, anyways, before I get stuck on that too long. Yeah, so... Uh, first two picks, we already knew what was going to happen. Pick three is where the draft started. And, you know, I, I like uh, Arela. Uh, Arela, excuse me, Arela. I liked her from Rutgers. Ari McDonald or, or Ari McDonald. No, Ari. Air, Ari. Ari McDonald. There we go. There we go. There we go. Ari McDonald. <laughs> I've obviously, mo most uh, one, one of the most exciting players of the tournament. Had the, you know, same moment against UConn, everything like that. Uh, you know, everybody knows about her and stuff from the tournament. Uh, she's a snipe. She, she's she got a, you know, shop on her, everything like that. 
the thing is, it's just like, um, you know, you, you already got Kennedy Carter, you already got Courtney Williams, you already got Tiffany Hayes coming back in that backcourt. What they needed was, in my opinion, with Benajah leaving over uh, to New York, I think you needed a bigger guard, a, a physical guard or whatever, who can kind of play that wing position as well like Benajah did, and also kind of show up for uh, scoring and stuff. Um, but a great point that, that the ESPN commentators made last night, shout out Rebecca Lowell, uh, Rebecca Lowell, excuse me, and um, LaChana Robinson, shout out to both of them. Um, but a great point that they made last night is that all those guards that I just mentioned, they're kind of like slash first. <laughs> like Tiffany Hayes is a slasher. Kennedy Carter scores like by getting to the paint. She's not necessarily the best three-point shooter. She worked on her shot last season and it improved as the season went on. But, you know, those, uh, you know, those women are all scores from really driving, um, really getting into the lane and everything like that. This is someone who could shoot. You know, um, shout out to, to Jalen Agnew, but she didn't really get that opportunity last year to really play. I, I think in that way, Airy, uh, the Airy pick is a decent one for the dream. I still like uh, Arella, so but you know, hey, and it, and it can't hurt to to get someone who's famous, um, you know, for the sake of marketability and selling tickets and stuff like that over there in College Park on the South Side, and I know that that. I don't know. I'm thinking that had to go into some of it because you already have one of the more exciting players in the league, uh, young players in the league with Kennedy. I think to add that with someone who the whole country watched kind of eliminate UConn and polls like this at half court, like I think that's just great uh, for them and, and stuff like that. And speaking of famous people, <laughs> we got the surprise of the night with uh, Kaiser Kondrasic going number four. But let me let me see if Indiana had any other picks first of all. Okay, they did. They did. They had a, a second round pick, uh, but it was a couple picks after New York. So maybe th this is what they were thinking, right? Maybe this is what they were thinking. Because I think the earliest that Kaiser was going to go was that second round pick to New York. I think that was the earliest she was going to go. Unless LA thought that New York was going to pick her in the second round. Then, excuse me, I could see her going in the first round to LA. This... What the heck, bro? But, you know, hey, I I'm a huge Kaiser fan. If you watch the channel, you know I've reacted to her a few times. She's a hooper. Um, you know, rest in peace of Grant Gontrajit. She's a hooper, everything like that. And she's going to sell a lot of tickets. She's got the marketability for it. She's going to make a lot of money and bring a lot of attention to the league, as you already saw maybe a little bit last night on social media, just sharing her reaction to it. She's a hooper, but number four... When you had some of the dogs that you had on the board, Indiana, you're betting on yourselves. You're betting on yourselves. You're betting on yourselves, man. But uh, I'm thinking that's what they were thinking. If they wanted to get Kaiser from the jump, you're thinking about L.A. potentially taking her at number seven or uh, New York grabbing her in the second round. That That's kind of like the only thing I really see there. But, yeah. Without further ado, let's move on to the next player. This is Chelsea Dungy. Like I said, I'm a huge fan of their picks. I actually, like, uh, I was joking with my friends. I was like, I actually think that, uh, that Dana Evans is better than Chelsea Dungy. Their second round uh, draft, their second round guard is better than their first round guard. But, yeah, I mean, either way, you know, they, they won the draft. And they were set up in a good position to win the draft with uh, all those picks. Uh, everybody was saying the first round was going to be the, like the Dallas Wings watch party instead of WNBA draft watch party. But I'm a huge fan of, of Dungy. She's a great player, a uh, great scorer. And, yeah, it'd be interesting to see how she kind of uh, fits with uh, Arike and stuff like that uh, as a scorer. Um, but, yeah, here we go. On to Michaela. This is one of the draft prospects I reacted to that I haven't got to edit yet. Um, Michaela, very tough player. Great all-around player. Great all-around game over there from UCLA. With the New York Liberty. New York Liberty, of course, had a couple of trades. They brought over Natasha Howard. So, I really don't know who's on the team. So, let's see. Uh, Asia's still there. Asia's still there. Is Asia going to come back and play basketball, man? That's a huge question mark. You're talking about a number two pick, a great player, borderline all-star, you know, someone who's butting into that uh, star role. She hasn't disappointed at all so far in her career when she's been on the court. So is she coming back? That's a huge question mark for the Liberty this year. Laysia, you know what she's going to bring you. 
consistency, uh, a great vet around the league. Natasha Howard, Defensive Player of the Year, coming into the picture now. Uh, Sab. And then, you know, uh, you got, let me see, you got Kia Stokes, who's kind of, uh, Jocelyn Willoughby, who's kind of, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, those are the players, you know, who are going to have to step it up to really take them to the next level. But a pretty decent draft class right here with, with Michaela and Didi. I was a fan of both of those picks. I thought both of those picks were pretty good, in my opinion. Um, you get two players on the wing to kind of add some depth over there. Like I mentioned with the Dream, you got Benajah Laney coming in the picture now. If she plays in any way she did last year, uh, keep in mind now, they said the bubble's different. They said some dudes, you know, in the, in the league, in the NBA, who, who were playing, you know, in the bubble, they were playing different. And you see them coming back. They got quiet again this year when they weren't in the bubble, when they were back in arenas, back traveling, everything like that. So we'll, we'll see if Benajah was one and done or if she's legit uh, scoring-wise. She's always been like that on the defensive side of the ball, but scoring-wise. We'll see if she can continue to do that with her newfound confidence. That will be great. Um, but, yeah, to, to add this, both of those guards are wing players are, are both tough and physical on the defensive end of the ball. And, you know, Michaela obviously a little – kind of more aggressive on the offensive end than Didi, but Didi is, you know, just a glue player that can help anybody win. So I think it will be very interesting to see what they can add to that team. Okay, I'm looking in the front court, though. Uh, no more uh, Zoo. No more Zoo over here uh, for them in the front court. Do they have a center? They have Kia Stokes. That's it. Uh, all right, so they need a center. <laughs> you got Natasha Howard. They, they like size. So people are going to be on them for that, you know. They got uh, Kylie Shook, who's 6'4". Yeah, they're, they're going to need some size. People are going to be exposing them for that. So I think it's going to be another year of rebuilding for the for the Liberty. But, you know, I think they will be in the playoff picture like they were last year in the playoff race. So that's my take on the Liberty. I, I do like their two picks, though. Don't get it twisted. Number seven, my God, Jasmine Walker. I have a few Jasmine Walker cousins of her cousins who have commented on my video, uh, my, my rant about Jasmine Walker from a couple a couple months ago. I finally got to react to Jasmine Walker highlights uh, the, the day before the draft. I, I got to edit and uh, upload that reaction sometime within the next week. But yeah, um, like LaChina was saying, great shooter. She says she has the potential to be one of the best sharp shooters from three in the draft. I was like, wow, I was kind of surprised to hear that. Um, what what I saw from her, three-level score, three-level shooter. Um, she has a nice pull-up off the dribble. I really like her game, and I think it'll be great for her to learn behind the Wuma K sisters. Uh, let me see. Let me pull up the roster and see what else they have here before we get too much into it. Uh, Simone Augustus coming back, Nia Coffey, uh, Taya Cooper, Bria Holmes, the Wuma K sisters, as I mentioned. T.R. Ruffin Pratt, Brittany Sykes, Christy Tolliver. Christy Tolliver's still in the league. Okay. Hold on, vet. Hold on, vet. Erica Wheeler. And then there's Zoo. Zoo's on. Okay. Okay. They got some work to do. I'm not going to lie. They got some work to do over there. <laughs> they got some work to do in L.A. This is not going to be the L.A. that we're used to. But like I said, I love Arella. Um, Taya Cooper, great rookie season or whatever. Um, coming into her own. Brittany Sykes, she's one of those dogs defensively. Great hustle player. Dog. Jasmine Walker, I like the pick. Uh, Stephanie Watts from North Carolina, the number 10 pick. I don't know much about Stephanie Watts. I, I heard she's a great shooter. That was another one of those picks where I'm looking at who's on the board and I'm just like, huh? You know what I'm saying? I'm looking at Natasha, man. I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying? We're talking about centers. We're talking about size behind the Wuma K sisters. Who do you have? You have Zoo. Okay. And, uh, well, well, you got Christine. You got Christine. That was some respect on Christine, Rashad. Okay, 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 okay. And then and then you drafted uh, Jasmine Walker. But I'm looking at Natasha Mack. Natasha Mack, why is she still on the board at this point? Why is Natasha Mack still on the board at this point? But, uh, yeah. So, um, Stephanie Watts. Uh, I, I got to watch her. I got to watch her. But I heard she's a great shooter. That was a pick I kind of scratched my head at. I'm not going to lie. Number eight, you got Shyla Hill. I thought she went kind of high. I was expecting her to go low first round, 
early second round. She went kind of higher than expected, in my opinion. But I'm a fan of her game. You know, you're talking about giving that backcourt a little more rest. Sloot and uh, those gals over there in Chicago. Um, I am a fan of her game. Do not get it twisted. But, yeah, I thought it was a bit high. And then you also have Dana Evans still out there. Dana Evans is still out there. But, hey, man, it is what it is. Yeah, with, with uh, Quigley and Sloot, you know, you got to give them a little time off. And uh, they got another ball handler to come off the bench for that. So that's great. And they got Gabby, as always. They lost Diamond. Uh, not Diamond to Shields. They lost. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Oh, my goodness. I'm going blank right now. Uh, but but they lost uh, one of those post players to Atlanta, so yeah man. So now you know you you just have Diamond. You got Diamond over there. Stephanie Dolson still returned. Uh, Ruthie coming into her second season and stuff like that. Uh, you know Cooper or, or Copper, excuse me. So so they have a nice little roster right here. Oh man, I just forgot. Uh, and I I see her. I'm I'm looking at her face right now in my mind. But yeah. Uh, the player that they lost over there to the dream it would be very interesting to see what they could do obviously with candace that's a game changer it changes the whole dynamic of the roster pushing in contention makes a non-contender into a contender but chicago has been a contender <laughs> in the past couple of years uh they, they've been one of those good teams who have just been right there quite haven't gotten over the hump so maybe cp3 is that difference maker and you got some help right now in the backcourt coming off the bench Renaya davis she slides all the way to nine. She could have gone three. She could have gone four. She could have gone five. She could have gone six. She could have gone seven. She could have gone eight. But she slides all the way to nine. Great player. Moment of the draft, in my opinion. When she's reacting to her own highlights. Show what the crowd's talking about. Show what the crowd's talking about. You know what I'm saying? Moment of the draft for me, in my opinion. Uh, great pickup by Minnesota. And Minnesota had a great offseason, too. And they already had a really good team, in my opinion. So, hey, Minnesota, I'm a fan. Minnesota, I'm a fan. They got, oh, they got Natalie? I didn't know Natalie. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I was reacting to something, and then on the bottom line on the ticker, I was reacting to one of the tournament games. And on the bottom line on the ticker, they, they had Natalie up there. And I was like, oh, snap, Natalie went to uh, Minnesota. They got Lexi Brown, of course, uh, Fee, Crystal Dangerfield. This is a team that, that I'm like, okay, Kayla McBride, <laughs> they got a squad. Ariel Powers, they got a squad. This is this is a team. KK, oh no no, no. That, that's not KK. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. KK got uh, traded to Seattle, I believe. Uh, but yeah, yeah, yo, they got a squad. Minnesota's got a squad. Dantas, yeah, they got a squad. Them Jokers got a squad. With Renaya Davis coming in the picture, dang, was that their only pick? Oh, yeah, y'all in trouble. Y'all in trouble, man. Y'all in trouble, man. I'm looking at Chicago. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm looking at the mother team. I'm like, oh, okay. I'm looking at Minnesota. That's a team. That's a team. Aaliyah Wilson from A&M. Once again, another guard goes before Dana Evans. Why? Why? No disrespect. No disrespect to Stephanie Watts. Aaliyah Wilson, uh, Shyla Hill, as I reacted to, I was a fan of her game. I just don't quite get it. And then to end the first round, Eliana Ruppert. Uh, I've seen her name in this, uh, in this area in mock draft, so that wasn't too much of, of a shock to me. Natasha Mack is still on the board, but you know that's probably just my bias of players I've seen versus players I haven't seen. But Dana Evans, bro, not going in this first round is crazy. Crazy, dog. Crazy. Anyways, let's move on to round two. So round two, Dana Evans, first pick of the second round right here. And she goes to Dallas. Dallas isn't sleeping. Dallas ain't playing with y'all boys or girls. Dallas ain't playing with y'all. They get the best pickup of the second round. There we go. Okay, Destiny Slocum. I'm a fan of her game. Uh, the other guard over there in the Arkansas backcourt. Big fan of her game. Um, yeah. Good pickup for Vegas. Did Vegas have a, um, a first-round pick? I think that's the first time I mentioned Vegas. Excuse me. Let me see what they have over here. Oh, no, no, no. The, the girl from France that, that I just uh, talked about. Okay. 
yeah, let, let me see this roster though. All right, Cam Page coming back, MVP. Chelsea Gray coming over. Oh, they tough. They tough. Dang, LA done lost some pieces. They done lost Chelsea Gray and Candace Parker. Yeah, yeah. LA, yo. LA, yo. The Women K sisters got to, they, they got to uh, put in extra work, man. They got to be the number one picks they are. Anyways, Angel McCautry, um, another year older, but she still got something left in the tank. Uh, Chelsea Plum, or Kelsey Plum, excuse me, I'm tripping. Okay, Kelsey Plum coming back into the picture this year. You got uh, uh, Williams over there getting another year under her belt of that. Jackie Young, you know, I know a lot of people get on her number one pick, but, you know, she's a decent player, decent player. Asia Wilson, of course, superstar. De'Erica Amby, one of the, or the best player, best six women in the league. And then, yeah, so they pretty much returned their key players yeah, yeah, they pretty much return their key players, lose Kayla McBride to Minnesota, but they still have a lot of their key players. And then you got Destiny Slocum coming in. That's the player I'm most excited about out of their draft picks. And yeah, let's keep it pushing. Okay, all right, so this is the one where I wanted to go on a rant. This this was the pick where I wanted to go on a rant. And I'm so glad y'all give it up for LaChina Robinson. I'm so glad LaChina Robinson didn't play uh, nice politics. Uh, polite politics because that that's where I was going to go and then LaChina called it out live on air alright so so Raquel Correa they said this is probably a draft and stash pick the next picks are Natasha Mack, D.D. Richards Keanu Williams, Unique Thompson Dijanae Carrington and then and then Arella goes after that and India Jones goes after that I'm, I'm going to run that back for y'all. Natasha Mack, Dee Dee Richards, Keanu Williams, Unique Thompson, Dijon Carrington, and then and then uh, Arella. The Dream weren't good last year. They had a whole new team. Only had two returners, I believe. It was Elizabeth, Elizabeth Williams and Mo Billings. Those were their only two returners. The best player was a rookie. She got hurt. The dream weren't good last year. The dream weren't good last year. Point being, the the dream need everybody they can get. Anybody they can get. All due respect to all the veterans they picked up. Glory Johnson. Uh, you know, Kalani Brown. Um, you know, all, all those players. All those vets. Uh, you know, phew. All due respect. All due respect. The dream won good last year, man. When you got Natasha Mack, Dee Dee Richards, Keanu Williams, Unique Thompson, Dijon Carrington, and Arella, and India all on the board. I don't I don't get why you're drafting stash there. Maybe it's a player's coach thing, a player's owner thing with uh with Renee being in the front office, coming from players, you know, wanting to spare some of those players at roster spots. I don't know. But this comes to my rant of we need expansion. We need expansion in the league, obviously, because then you have moments like these of where if you cut a player, they might not get another shot in the league, and you don't want that on your conscience. And you don't want that when trying to attract other players to come to your team. So you get a move like this where you have quality first-round talent. Excuse me. Quality all American type players on the board, and you go with the draft and stash pick. Raquel, I saw her on Twitter. She was hyped to get drafted, hyped to get picked. All due respect to her, salute to her. You know what I'm saying? Congratulations on, on having your dreams come true. I'm not hating on you. This is not against you. This is if the dream are indeed looking to draft and stash. As Rebecca Lobo said, this could be a draft and stash pick. When you had Natasha Mack, D.D. Richards, Keanu Williams, Unique Thompson, Dijon A. Carrington, and Arella, and India Jones still on the board. I'm going to move on. That's it. That's it for me. All right. You need, you need expansion. You need expansion so you can open it up to players like Paige and Caitlin who are prepared, who are ready to go into the league and get some boos and brumps. And you can get a player like a McKenzie Ingram uh, in the league. 
you know, they don't get just, you know, drafted, invited to training camp. Like a Tiana over there at Syracuse who didn't get drafted, who's getting invited to a camp. There's a lot of these players on drafted getting invited to camps who have a light chance of getting drafted or making a team, excuse me, because kids who got drafted are not going to make teams. So, um, expansion, expansion. Word of the day is expansion, expansion. Spam it in the comments. All right, anyways, let's move on. Natasha Mack, of course, I love that pick because I hate it that the dream didn't get her um, for some front court depth. Anyways, let, let, let me pull up this. Uh, I love the Lindsay pick. I love the Lindsay pick. But is she going to make the team? That goes back to expansion, expansion, the word of the day, expansion. But here we go. Um, yeah, yeah. Uh, Davis is, is another vet they picked up late in the bubble season last year. Tiana Hawkins, a, a big that they picked up in the offseason. Cheyenne Parker was a player from Chicago whose uh, name slipped my mind. They bring in a vet in the backcourt with Odyssey Sims. Backcourt is getting packed. Backcourt is getting packed with, with uh, kind of smaller guards or whatever. So, yeah, I would have liked to see RRL going right there. You know, a larger guard, you know, a bigger guard, a tough guard and everything like that. You got that in Lindsay, but is Lindsay going to make the team? If you draft a stash and uh, draft and stash with the second pick, I love Lindsay. Y'all know I love Lindsay. Y'all could go and watch it for the background on the channel. I love Lindsay. I don't know if she's going to make the team. That's the thing. Uh, hold on. Is is a uh, dang. Jalen's not even on the roster anymore, man. That's crazy. I'm sorry, J. Uh, I'm sorry, Jalen. Dang, is Britt Brewer on the roster? I don't even think Britt Brewer on the roster. Dang, WNBA a cold place, man. But that's what I'm saying, man. Dang, expansion, expansion, expansion. Dang, the only returning rookie from last year is uh is Kennedy Carter, bro. Dang, they got rid of Britt Brewer, got rid of Jalen Agnew. And Jalen just tore an ACL, too. Sad story, man. Sad story. Is uh is Lexi still on the team? Lex? Lexis Williams? She is not. Dang. WNBA, WNBA is cutthroat. That's tough. That's tough, man. But expansion, expansion. That's the word of the day, expansion. I want a team back in Orlando. I want a team back in Houston. I want a team back in Miami. Uh, give me the Charlotte Sting. Give me uh, Sacramento teams back. Give me the Detroit Shock, one of the best teams. You know, those are six teams right there. Give Toronto a team. <laughs> you know they're going to support in Toronto. Anyways, yeah, I, I like the pick of Natasha Mack. Oh, New York Liberty. Of course, I love that pick. We talked about it a little bit earlier. Seattle Storm, Keanu Williams. The rich get richer, ain't it? The rich get richer. Excuse me. They they made a lot of trades, or they they were in that big trade. So they got Kiki now, Candace Dupree, Jordan Canada, Sue Bird, <laughs> India Jones, Joel Lloyd, Mercedes Russell, Katie Lou Samuelson, who Joel thinks is going to have a, a, a big year. Bree. Stewie, Tamara Young, yo, yo, Keanu Williams. The rich get richer in Seattle. The rich get richer in Seattle. Then Unique Thompson. I'm I'm a big fan of Unique's game. You know, I came over from Alabama. That was my last stop. Um, I was over there like 30 minutes north of Auburn in Valley, Alabama. Um, yeah. So Unique is someone who I who I've known of. Uh. Who I who I knew of, yeah. Who I knew of the past couple of seasons, uh, pretty decent player. As you can see, average double double. None of these other girls is averaging double doubles, except for Natasha Mack, who didn't need to slide past the three. But it's okay. Jesus is gonna get us through this one, man. Jesus is gonna get me through this one. I'm gonna keep my cool, and that is what it is. But Indiana, I like that pick right there with unique. Um, let me see who is on Indiana's roster. All right. Wow. A lot of new faces, a lot of new names. Of course, McCowan. Of course, Tiffany Mitchell's back. Uh, Tiffany Mitchell. Uh, Kelsey Mitchell. Uh, oh, they, they drafted uh, Chelsea Perry. Okay, okay. I like that pick, too. Daniel Robinson. Um, let me see. Let me see. Leah Wilson, of course, in the first round. Victoria uh, Vivian's coming back, hopefully, from injury this season. Uh, Jessica Breland, uh, all decent vet right there. Yeah. Uh, Lauren. Oh, Lauren Cox. They got Lauren Cox. 
That must have happened in a trade. Oh, okay. Well, well, we'll see what they could do. We'll see what they could do. We'll see what they could do this year. That That's an interesting roster, but that looks like another rebuilding situation. But it's interesting. They might be able to do something. Um, DJ Nate Carrington, love the pick. I was talking about which Connecticut Sun jersey I was going to get because I love their jersey so much. I love Alyssa Thompson. Uh, Alyssa Thomas, excuse me. That's one of my favorite players in the league. I was a fan of her game since the first time I watched her. I was thinking maybe getting Alyssa Thomas. But Dijon A. Carrington, you know, another one of those popular kids from the uh, tournament. I think her not getting the call made her even more popular and more famous. Dewana Bonner, MVP candidate last year. Uh, Charles over there. You got uh, January Bat. Bro, she's Third, this is her 13th season. John Quell Jones, as always, returning to the lineup. Jasmine Thomas, Alyssa Thomas, you know what the Thomas sisters could do. Alyssa Thomas, if she returns from that injury. She played on one shoulder last year, bro. I rock with Alyssa Thomas. That might be my favorite player in the league, bro. I'm not even going to lie to you. But, yeah. Connecticut got a few decent players, too. A few decent players. It looks like it could be another rebuilding situation. Uh, Michaela Kelly. Uh, shout out to you, uh, everything like that. I apologize if I mispronounced your name. I haven't seen too much of you. I'm not going to lie. So, uh, yeah. But she averaged 15, 5, and 4. Pretty decent all-around numbers right there. And then, still of the draft. Hands down, still of the draft. Arella, for, for her to slip this far, is criminal. It's criminal, it's criminal, it's criminal. But, yeah, she did slide down that far. And, uh, yeah, she's going to make all these teams pay. She's going to make all these teams pay. I'm going to leave it at that. India Jones, one of the more famous players in the draft, more popular players in the draft. Averaged 8 and 9 last season. The rich get richer in Seattle. Indiana Fever, Trinity Batiste. Uh, I don't know much about Batiste. I'm not going to lie to you, even though she was on Arizona. But uh, Indiana stacking up, adding depth at all positions. She's a forward. So, yeah. Uh, and then third round. I think the pick of the third round. I'm biased. I'm biased. Wait, hold on. Where's she at? Where's she at? There she is. Lindsay. It's Lindsay, bro. And Chelsea Perry, too. Chelsea is nice, too. Chelsea is nice, too. I, I heard a lot of good things about Chelsea. Uh, But, yeah. L- Lindsay, she's a pick of the third round. Huge fan. If you know me, you know that I'm a huge fan of Lindsay Pulliam. She's tough, bro. She's tough, bro. That backcourt over there at Northwestern, I was a huge fan. Um, she ended the the uh, the season, though, with a low-scoring performance in the tournament. I was very disappointed in that because I believed in you so much. But, uh, yeah, man, she's tough, bro. I love her mid-range. I love her jumper. I love the way she plays. She is a dog. She's a very talented player. I'm going to try to get her on the channel. I'm going to reach out to uh, to the Dream and see if they're going to let me bring her on the channel. But, yeah, I'm a huge Lindsay Pulliam fan. Hopefully, she makes the roster. I'm praying she make the roster. And then, yeah, man, uh, that's the third round. Uh, C.R. Johnson, great player as well. Georgia gets a player in there. Another year that Georgia gets a player drafted. Coach Joni is doing a great job over there in Athens. I know I give her a tough time on highlights. But she's doing a great job over there in Athens. Sending players to the league or at least to draft to get drafted. So salute to all these women. And uh, and, and Jeter to close out the draft, man. Salute, uh, salute to Natalie. Salute, uh, salute to uh, Ayana. Ayana? Oh, man. I, I shouldn't even attempt your name if I can't pronounce it because I don't want to disrespect you like that on the biggest day of your life. Aaliyah, uh, Florencia. Uh, and then, oh, yeah, I, I, I heard a lot of good things about her, um, too, from Wake Forest, uh, Ivana. So I heard a lot of good things about you, too. Um, and then Valerie Higgins over there from Pacific. I'm not, I'm not familiar with Valerie's game or anything like that. I do know Chelsea, Lindsay, Ivana, um, Goodman. Sierra Johnson, uh, Caldwell, and, and Jeter. All of y'all, I'm familiar with y'all, but Natalie, to make it from uh, Lafayette, averaged the double-double last year. Well-deserved. Great numbers put up in college. Salute to all of y'all for making y'all dreams come true. WNBA, we need expansion. WNBA, we need expansion. There's no reason why these jokers right here should have slid 
and they're sliding because teams are afraid if they draft a great player, they can't keep them because they don't have enough roster spots. And if people that they do cut and can't keep on the roster anymore, that would be the last time they get a job in the league. And they're decent players. It's not because of talent. It's simply because of space. And um, that's also a reason why they're not opening it up to 19-year-olds like Caitlin Clark and Paige Beckers to get in this draft. So when you got a 19-year-old going number two overall. So a lot of things to fix for the WNBA there. But all in all, a great night. Uh, I, I, I kept, I'm proud of myself, man. I'm proud of myself. I'm not going to lie. I'm proud of myself. I thought I was going to go off. I thought I was going to go over the top. I kept my cool for the most part. If you are new to the channel, this is the Road to 2K Subs. Let me know who your favorite pick was. And let me know about some of these other players that that, uh, that I wasn't so familiar with. I'll probably just react to them, uh, all the players that I'm unfamiliar with. So I won't just be like, bad pick, bad pick. And then they're like, good player. So. But, yeah, this is a disgrace. This is a disgrace right here. I'm going I'm to leave it at that. That That's a disgrace. And, and slide down to India. Give her some love, too. That second round is is stupid. That second round is crazy talented. Um, and, yeah, Ar Arella's going to make a lot of y'all pay. Uh, I'm going to leave it at that. Y'all take care. Y'all wash your hands. Stay safe. Stay six feet. Wear your mask so that we might see a complete WNBA season, man. Salute to the Dallas Wings. You guys did what you guys needed to do. Salute to the New York Liberty. Uh, shout out Chicago Sky. And, uh, yeah, man. Uh, shout out to Connecticut for getting Dijonet. Everybody was waiting for it. And shout out to the Sparks for getting the steal of the draft. Shout out to Minnesota for making their only pick count. They made their only pick count. That's quality. Quality over quantity. Without further ado, man. That's it. That's it for me. That's it for me. I'm going to leave y'all alone.